Star Wars number 45 recap, Lando becomes a rebel for real. The issue opens with the rebels dealing with the fallout of Mon Mothma being captured by terrorists. Losing the Rebel Alliance's political leader and keeper of secrets is a big no-no after all. Due to the compromised leader, Akbar enacts Tactical Plan 18 to scatter the fleet to ensure its safety if Mon gets broken. The rebel leaders return to Lando's trial and Giorgio tries to use some language in the Karelian Code to declare a mistrial now that one of the adjudicators is missing. Sadly for our suave hero, Maydeen is having none of it in the trial proceedings. Seeds. Captain Musgrave continues his laser-focused grilling of Calrissian's missteps and then calls Princess Leia to the stand. She recounts how charming Lando was when they first met on Bespin and how he appeared to be an ally until he wasn't. Musgrave plays up the fact that Lando not only betrayed everyone at Bespin, but that he's also the reason Captain Solo is now missing. Giorgio realizes that Lando's case is grim after this testimony, but she too presses the princess for some sort of advantage. She makes the case that just like the Rebel Alliance, Lando was just doing what he thought was right when he betrayed the Alliance to save Lobot. She highlights how Lando only made a deal with Vader to save the people of Bespin. He was loaded and could have left them in the moment Vader arrived, but he stayed and tried to make a deal to keep his people safe. She explains how Vader kept altering the deal, but Lando stayed. He stayed to protect his people. Giorgio's point is not lost at all on Leia as she realizes that sometimes people have to make terrible choices when they're ultimately trying to do the most righteous of acts. Meanwhile, Poe Dameron's daddy is with his Pathfinders checking out the kidnapping scene over on Uveron City, and they discover a communicator from the kidnappers demanding 200 million credits, or Mothma's release, or else. The rebel leaders know they're screwed now as there's no way these funds can be secured without wiping them out financially and even Leia begins to lose hope. Back in Lando's cell though, he has a revelation and demands to speak to Chewie. He reveals to the walking carpet that he knew the voice of one of the kidnappers from the recording, so he tells him about Hachi of the Scarabi and how he knows where some of their safe houses are. Giorgio is none too pleased that he gave this up for free because she could have used it to bargain for his freedom. But Lando proclaims he deserves everything coming to him and that he's a low down, no good, untrustworthy piece of trash. But in addition to all that, he's a mother effing rebel. So yeah, while this latest run of Star Wars has been pretty whack, that was a cool canon moment indeed. If you like this type of content, make sure to sub to Star Wars Time Show on YouTube, socials, and podcasts.